Good morning, family, and welcome back to my channel. So let me just set everything up. Like I told y'all, my first paycheck wasn't too far off. So it has come. And I've gone to the bank, gotten all my proper denominations and bills and such. I'm gonna add these in here. I need you all to face the same way. Okay. So here is the money all laid out nice and whatnot. Break open the budget binder, start pulling out envelopes. And of course, we are going to start first with our everyday category. So sit this to the side. Okay, so we have household, grocery, and self-care. And again, um, gas is also in this category, but I actually went and got gas yesterday. So I believe my gas folder, envelope, not folder, is in my purse. So give me one second and I'll be right back. All right, y'all, I'm back. So I tried to find my gas envelope, but turns out I still left it in the car, in the glove box, and it's cold outside, y'all. And I don't feel like braving the elements just to go get an envelope. So I'm gonna just set that money aside and put it in my purse. That way when I go back out to the car, I can just sit it in there. Cause y'all it's cold. And I just don't have time. Okay, <laughs> so moving along, gas gets 30. So that gets three tens. So three tens for gas and we're just gonna sit that right onto the side to wait until I actually go outside. And grocery gets 60. So two, four, 60 goes in grocery. And we actually have 15 left from the last time. So I'm not sure what I wanna do with these because I am doing um, the $5 savings challenge to where like every $5 bill I come across, I save it. And I do have like a, it's not in anything special. Like it's a bottle from, it was a bottle of juice. And once we finished it, I just cleaned it out, let it dry out. And now I've just been putting the money in there. So I don't know if I want all of this to roll over because technically we still are in January. Like it's not like the end of the month or is it just every time I do a cash stuffing, do I take out the money that's left and save that? Um, I don't know. I'm still undecided. I'm feeling like I should just put it in my savings challenge. Because I do have like $1 bills, $5 bills, $10 bills. It's just whatever dollar bills. Whatever change I have left in my pocket, at the end of the day, I've been putting into this container. So I'm feeling like I should save this. So we're going to set this aside. This $15 that was left in grocery, we're going to set this aside to put into our savings challenge. And we're going to put the new 60 into grocery. So, eh, like now I'm going back and forth with it. Um, okay, I'll save the five and I'll put the 10 back into grocery. Because trust me, it is way more $5 bills in that bin upstairs than it is 10. So we'll save the 10. So then that brings us to $70. So grocery started with 60, um, then I went shopping and spent.
spent 50 so now we have $70. And for the description, I'll just put what today's date is. I think today is the 13th. And then this will just go back into grocery. Oh my goodness. Sometimes nails, they're cute, but they just get in the way. Majority of the time, like you can't pick up anything. Okay, and then self-care gets its usual 40, which is 220s. And honestly, I never used the 40 from before, so okay. So two, four, six, eighty. So now self-care has eighty dollars. And that's honestly how much one Brazilian wax costs for me at the place that I go to here. But I went on to um Amazon and I bought a DIY waxing kit for me to do it at home by myself. And I did my first one, and it wasn't that bad. Like, it was difficult trying to, like, get everything, but it was not that bad. It didn't hurt as much as I thought it was because I am not the kind of person who can self-inflict pain. I just can't do it. But it wasn't that bad. So that's what I've been doing as far as waxing goes. Since I got the wax kit, I've just been doing it myself. So I don't know exactly what I'm going to use this self-care money for maybe treat myself to something else so one 13 21 and this is now $80 oh the amount that we gave was 40 pardon me y'all I'm still trying to figure out how to fill out these forms like I bought the forms without even knowing exactly how I was supposed to use them. So, bam, just figure that out. <laughs> and we'll sit you to the side. And then that brings us down to households, which is the last from our everyday category. And that gets 30. So a 20 and a 10. Or, no, it doesn't. It gets three tens again. I have my um, budget by paycheck workbook next to me to remind me of how much everything is supposed to get and exactly how it's supposed to get it. Oh, and there's change in here. So, we have $3 left in household. And I actually did go to the store and I bought like, we needed a recycle bin for inside of the house because I was so sick of my family just throwing bottles and cans and everything in the regular garbage can. Like we don't have a whole recycle container outside. So I just bought one for in the house. So I'll take these $3 and put them to the side to be saved. So 10, 20, 30, now it goes into households. And rinse and repeat with the date and we just put in 30 so remaining we have $30 in here so that completes everything for the everyday category Moving right along now to prep and landing. Okay, so prep and landing is glasses, back to school, beauty, Tom Tom, Theo, and look at that. Y'all, I found gas. It wasn't even where I thought it was. I thought it was in the car. I just put it in the wrong folder. All right, so now the 30 for gas. 
can go into its envelope and we do have change from gas which is one two three another three dollars so that will be set aside for our savings challenge okay so gas is complete so now every day is officially done <sighs> All right, so back into prep and landing, which is glasses, back to school, beauty, Theo, and Tom Tom. So, back to school gets 40, which is 220s. I have no in idea where in the world we will be living by the time. It it's time for the boys to get ready to go back to school. So, I don't know if they'll be doing uniforms or just wearing regular clothes or what. But at least we'll be somewhat prepared. Because their dad is talking about going back to school to get something to like rank up or whatever and that would require us to move to a different state so that he can go to school Ugh. the life of an army family so $80 is now in back to school And glasses gets 25, which is just a 20 and a five. I did find a really nice website. Probably everybody has seen it by now. I don't know how you pronounce it, like Vogue Me or Vogue Me. It's V-O-O-G-U-E-M-E. -E. I'll put it down at the bottom, exactly what it's called. But... They had some pretty cute glasses on there. Like, and that's where I'm gonna be ordering my glasses from. I already made my doctor's appointment and I didn't print out the little tracker sheet. So I have to do that. I forgot to print out a tracker sheet for this. Okay, but glasses now has two, four, six, sixty-five. Like their glasses on that site were not expensive at all and they were super cute. So I will definitely be getting my glasses from there. I just have to go to this doctor's appointment and the crazy part is they don't have any available openings until it's like the end of the month, the 23rd. So I have to suffer through with these old glasses that I'm wearing until the 23rd. And even longer than that because then I have to wait you know, for the glasses to come in the mail and all that, it's going to be an experience. So, beauty gets 20 and that is two tens. Like, I can only imagine what my new prescription is because... Wearing old glasses, I feel like does more harm to your eyes than anything. So I'll probably need bifocals by the time it's all said and done. Um, so So now there is 40 and beauty. Tom Tom and Theo get their usual 10. So two fives for Theo, two fives for Tom Tom. All 
And I actually need to go to the, I don't know what kind of store to go to or look online, but they've been doing, um, what do you call it? What are the kids doing now on their computers? I can't think of the word for it. But online learning for this week, for some reason, I guess they're trying to give everybody a chance to quarantine before they come back to school after the holiday. So for this week, they're technically in school, but they're doing it all online. Well, virtual learning. There we go. And TomTom Tom had to do uh, literacy, which is basically like um, English class. So it's like punctuation and, you know, all that good stuff. He's in third grade. So he was doing that and I was asking him, like, you know, why aren't you participating? Like, you're so smart. I know you know the answer. Like, you should volunteer to answer some questions. Raise your hand. And he was like, no. I don't really want to. I'm not that good at literacy. Like math, boy, is a genius. I don't know where he gets it from because I hate math. But he's really good with numbers. But for literacy, like he came out and said, like, mom, I'm not that good at literacy. I think I need some extra help in it. So like, say less, my guy. If you already know what you need, I got you. You need extra help, I'm going to find you some extra help in literacy. So I need to look online. These aren't facing the same way. I need to look online. Like I think like the Teachers Paying Teachers website or whatever, see if they have anything that will help him with his literacy, if there's like a workbook out there or something. Like I did get them ABC Mouse. For the year, which should be expiring soon, but still, I don't even think, yeah, I don't even think it'll apply to him anymore. I will have to transfer over to whatever it is for third graders because ABC Mouse goes up till second grade and then you have to transfer over to whatever their other little, I think it's like something academy, I forget. But I'll have to move him up to that. Because that I know he does like. And I also have to get his tablet fixed in order for him to be able to even use it. So. But hey. Boy said he needs extra help. I'm going to get him some extra help by any means necessary. And I mean, still, I was telling him, even if you, you know, if you feel like or you know that you're not that good at literacy, that shouldn't stop you from at least raising your hand and trying, like, what the other people going to do? Like, laugh and, like, <laughs> all right, but moving on now to long term. So, new car, new house, retirement. This is when we start using our good old 50s. Okay, so retirement gets 55. And I know you're like, Drea, I thought you had to put 86 in your envelopes all the time. I know I'm supposed to, but listen, okay, what had happened was we got our stimulus check and y'all were here for that and I stuffed $50 in here already. So I was like, this month I get a little break because I already have $50 in here, which covers part of the 86. So leave me alone. So 150, 105, so now $105 is in retirement. There is a method to my madness, guys. Now next month, February, 
it's going to have to be the full, what was it, $86 or $83? That full amount I'm going to have to put in the envelope. But for this month, I, I gave myself a break. Telling you right now, y'all, I can't wait until this week of virtual learning is over and done because I've had two days off during this time and I haven't even been able to enjoy it because I still had to wake up early because they still expect the kids to be logged on to do virtual learning at the same time they would be at regular school. So 7:30 in the morning, I'm having to get up to log these kids on to the virtual learning and then sit up with them to make sure that Theo stays focused because that boy will get up and run away in a heartbeat and never come back. So $50 goes into new house. So I got to sit with him. I got to make sure Thomas stays focused because he is always talking about how hungry he is. So he'll get up and walk away and his screen be all blank hear everybody else answering questions and my kids are nowhere to be found. Meanwhile, this is supposed to be my day off. And I was not made to be a teacher. Like The patience that you have to have in order to have such a profession is out of this world and I don't have the patience that God gave in that. So... It's been rough around here. All right, so new house is done. New car, I believe, also gets a 50. Yes, new car also gets a 50. Put you in here, like so, like that. So new car. Put you back in here. All right. So, our long term envelopes are done and they can go back in the binder. And now we are going into build. So that is business, travel, car maintenance, and emergency fund. Okay, so business gets 25. It's our last 20. And a five. Oh, yes. I was looking like there's no money in here, but we didn't stuff it last time. <laughs> Starting balance, $25. And we'll put this back in here. Completely forgot. And then Valentine's Day is coming up. So as soon as I get done doing this, I have to go downstairs and start making stuff for that. Oh, but then I can't even really do that because the boys are on a break now from school and they have to log back on in a couple of minutes. So it's just never enough time in the day. So travel gets 30. Just three tens, tens, one at thirty. Oh, mommy, I'm talking about that too. Okay. Eight four times, and we need to have it back. 
All right, so this 30 goes into travel. Okay, so 30 goes in travel. And you guys already know what my birthday plans are, but then we haven't gone on a summer vacation in forever. And my dad has been trying to get me to go back home to Antigua for carnival for the longest. And please excuse the noise in the background because Theo decided that he wanted to come downstairs and be all in the freezer and be loud. Oh, mercy. You're the only one. Kids, you gotta love them. Um, car maintenance gets a 50. I don't know what happened to my car, but whatever sound she was making before, she stopped. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. But the noise has stopped. All right, so now just fill this out. So now we have a hundred dollars in car maintenance. And I feel like I know what the problem is with my car. It's just, it's going to be so expensive. Like, I feel like it's a transmission problem. But transmissions cost a lot of money. And I feel like for what I'm going to pay for a transmission, I could just get a new car. That's where my mindset is going. So $50 is going into emergency, which is what this last 50 is for. For the money. <sighs> Had to save my money, y'all. Kids trying to take it. Just can't have nothing. <laughs> trying to elevate your life. And here your kids come. Three, two, one. Think everything is for them. All right, so that puts. <laughs> oh my goodness. They are just some leeches. So that now has us with a hundred dollars in emergency. I wish I had a hundred million dollars. Mommy, you can put all that money and make one hundred million. Yeah, that's the goal. Mommy's trying to have a hundred million dollars. If I get a hundred million dollars, though, I'm gonna give you a little bit, and then I'm gonna disappear, and you're never gonna see me again. Okay. But my mom, every every kid needs a mom. <laughs> I know every kid needs a mom. I wouldn't disappear like that. I would just disappear so that you couldn't keep asking me for money all your life. Oh. That's all. No, I'm not going to run away from home and go to another family. Oh, not like that. No, I'm not going to stay home either. Mommy's going to travel with a hundred million dollars. Mommy would travel the world. That's why you wouldn't see me. Why you say you would stay home? Yeah, I am. Just. All right, so I did something wrong because this five is supposed to be in a folder. An envelope, why do I keep calling them folders? I don't know. But okay, um, I know, so retirement got 55. Emergency fund was also supposed to get 55. That's where I went wrong, guys. I figured it out. Figured it out. So let me correct this. 
remember the thing that happened to my computer yesterday? Mm -hmm. It's happening again. Okay, I'm coming. I'll fix it. Love you. Love you too. Okay, so let me fix this. So this got 55 instead of just 50. So that brings us to 105. I was at the dollar store last night. I should have got some white out, but I wasn't thinking clearly. And honestly, I hate the way white out looks on your papers. Like, I feel like it never really corrected the situation. It just made your paper look sloppy. So yes, that is everything. Let me put this back. Okay, so now flipping back to the front of the big, big book. <laughs> now that we've stuffed all our envelopes, um, do you guys remember this extra sheet that I had bought off of Etsy and applied to the Budget Moms Budget by Paycheck Workbook? Um, again, this is Sheets by JC. Again, I will try to link her shop down in the description box. But we had said that we wanted to do the $1,000 for retirement and each block is worth $50. So we have now $105 in retirement. So guys, we can color in two blocks. And yes, I am using a crayon because I didn't want to use a marker and for it to bleed through the paper. So we're using a crayon. My coloring skills were never that great, but you know, who wants to color inside the lines anyway? Okay, and then for emergency, each block again is also worth $50 and we have 105 in there. So we can color in another two blocks. Okay, so going down to savings. I don't have an envelope for savings because what I do is automatically when my paycheck gets deposited to my account, they automatically send 10% of my check to my savings account. And currently towards our goal, the savings account that they send the money to because, you know, your girl got more than one because who wouldn't? <laughs> um, that one now has $287 in it. So we're just gonna, each block again is worth $100 because we're trying to save $2,000. So we're gonna color in two, and I could color in a little bit of a third. Yeah, we'll color in a little bit of a third. Like that. Oh my goodness, I suck at coloring. Okay, so we'll leave savings like that. And going down to travel, um, so far our envelope only has what? $30 in it. <laughs> so we can't color in any blocks for travel. New car, each block is supposed to be worth $300. And I think we only have 100, so we can't color in any of these. But for retirement and emergency, we're on our way. Like savings, we are also on our way. But these other two, we'll get there. So I actually took $580 out of my bank account. And this is of course after like all my bills and stuff are paid, like phone bill, credit cards, car insurance, all of that was paid. And so 
from what was left over. I took out 580 to go into envelopes. So yes, first paycheck, first official paycheck of January in the books. All done, guys. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. And this is going to be like a new thing that I do with every paycheck on my channel because I just really am serious about it and I want to help hold myself accountable because, you know, some months it just be like that debit card is so much easier to just stick it and swipe it. Like all of that is so much easier than going to the bank having to calculate and do math and just all of that, it's so much easier to swipe. And knowing me, I will get swipe happy and wonder where all my money went. But okay, we have come to the end. <laughs> so again, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Can I take you there? Can I take you there?